Confessions of a Cocktail Waitress. What is today's topic? Oh. How about the five worst things you could ever say or do to a waitress? I think that's a good one, don't you? Yeah, I, I can add a few to the list. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. If one of us tends to, happens to ask you, um, can I get you something, sir? Please don't respond by saying, can I get your phone number? Yeah, it's kind of like 212, kiss my ass. Yeah. If there were that many digits in a phone number. Yeah. Which, that's too many. But that's too many. 1-800-GO-FUCK-YOURSELF. <laughs> <laughs> number four, don't touch the sign. If you see a reserved sign... And you didn't make a reservation? It's Don't a, fucking sit there. It's not yours. Why does that happen? I mean, I think it's an ego thing. I think guys, they just, especially in New York City, they feel like they can buy their way through anything. Yeah, well, I mean, if they want to buy a bottle of Dom, they can sit there. That's, right. yeah, but that's fine. Don't let me stop you. Those you guys crystal already, customers, you come right, you come right yeah, over Yeah, but here. those are the people but, that make their reservations. Yeah, I know. That's true. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. true. Well, I mean, I've sold them on the fly before, too. I can't, I can't say. But if you're a two-top and you're going to sit at a table for 12, the answer is go fuck yourself. You're not sitting there. I'm sorry. Yeah, unless you're going to drink six bottles. I'm just... Mm -hmm. Number three, do not touch or kiss or pat or anything to me. Just don't don't even, you know, there, there's, there's, I hate to be that way, but I feel like when I, when I, when people approach me, I'm going to be like, ah, personal space. Oh my God. For, yeah. Okay. And Can you imagine? The I'm double, really going to try that The double kiss. Like, ah! Ah! The double... Yeah, no. <laughs> it's like, eh, eh, it's like eh. Eh, eh. You, We're not in Europe. I just, what's with the double kiss thing half the oh, time? Oh, God. Okay, it, if you're European, I get it, you're here, but half the time they're not. No. And Don't kiss me on either cheek for no. every goddamn gin and tonic. Mm -hmm. Please. I don't want the dirty lips on me. I'm not French. No. Chances are you're not either. No. It doesn't make you look more cultured. It makes you look like an asshole. And don't pat me. I'm not a dog. Yeah, seriously. No. Yeah. Number two. If you ask me what I do outside of work, which is, you know, a little invasive, but hey, I'll, I'll play. I'll play that game. Mm -hmm. You know? Sure. Sometimes people are nice and normal. But if I tell you that I teach yoga, please, please, save me from hearing you say this. Please. It's just awful. Please don't respond by saying, oh, so you teach yoga so you can put your legs behind your head. I mean, really? Is that creative? I, sp I mean, it took you a whole 35 seconds to come up with that one. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, brilliant. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Let me show you. Yeah, never. They're never going to see that. Ridiculous. They're never going to see that. Never. No. No. And coming in at number one, the all-time worst and most offensive thing you could possibly ever say to a cocktail waitress. Hey, can I have another bottle? I gotta get uh, some leg spreaders into these Asian bitches. I mean, can you really? Really? They just really, really, really. So you know, you know, if somebody says that to you, I think you should be like, I didn't notice that we were in a church and you were in a confession because you just admitted that's the only way you could get some. Oh, I'm just saying. Ouch. I'm just Ouch. Saying you gotta come back at these guys. Like I'm not your priest. Don't confess to me. Exactly. That's funny. I like that. Douchebags, get your act together. It's yeah, pathetic. seriously. It's not even cute anymore. Yeah. You're locking us.